If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, join me, Color Time, at Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Color book that I picked up at Federalist Pens and Paper. Pretty cool coloring book. I've been at it for a while. Uh, I do have some people that uh, on my channel that love to color, and so I thought I'd give you some of my ideas on how I do mine. No particular set way of doing things, just whatever hits me. I want to try, I want to do, it's, you know, do your own thing, you know, make it happen, be creative, use whatever colors you want. And you've so, used fountain pen ink on that, right? Yeah, on this one here, it's all fountain pen ink, and I use these uh, fountain pens from the, uh, what was that store called? Five Below. Five Below, yeah, and the other ones that uh, are out of ink, so that's all I have left, but it did a really good job on the paper, and then... On this one here also is fountain pen ink as well, and it did a good job. All this is fountain pen ink. Now this one, I use colored pencils. On this one is fountain pen ink. So let's get over here, because here's some new ones right here, and they are called the glaze 3d glossy 3d colors okay so i've been working on these for a while and they are pretty cool let's see if we can get a good close-up look at that look at that all the green all this is in 3d using these glaze right here using these markers here for there 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 and they're all in here it's showing real good on the, the leaves at the bottom yeah really nice really nice and in here is a regular fountain pen ink in here so i thought i'd give that a whirl now over here that's in 3d the ink that i use in here in the circles there but the rest is uh i'm using uh felt the, uh the uh pilot these pilot pins here for a lot of these and this is crayola and this is 3d we call it the glaze in here so i've got a little bit of the glaze the crayola the fountain pen ink uh, all going on in here so that's pretty cool I like this a lot and I didn't get through with this one so what do you say we're gonna do this one right now and let's just get one of these glaze down and we're gonna finish this up quickly so we can get on to our next project oh, here we go right here all righty And that should do that right there so and that will dry pretty good and it's going to kind of have a nice glaze to it and it, it just looks good so let me find a page here because i'm going to do something totally different i'm going to go way outside the box so and this may be a success may not be but I know it would work on large pictures uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work on pictures like this because they're too small for what I'm about to do uh, so what I think I'm going to have to do
is probably do it back here, believe it or not. But I'm going to try it up here. Then I got a box of crayons right here. And I got my lighter. All working correctly. Are you with me? This is going to be cool. So, we're just going to get Crayola out here and make sure you take some of the paper off. Okay. So, you have any idea what I'm about to do, people? So, I've got a cigarette lighter and I've got a Crayola. So, what am I going to do with that? Okay, that should be enough for that. All right, so I'm just going to work on this. And, you know, it may not work, but then... Uh, I know if you draw a big pumpkin, circle of a pumpkin, you can do this in a pumpkin or a leaf. So here we go. Since I'm right-handed, here we go. Kind of get the idea. Right on the eyeball. So I'm going to let that cool and I'm not going to spread that one out. You can let it drop onto your page and while it's wet you can do like I just did or you can just let it drop on the paper and just let it sit there and cool off and that's what it's going to look like. I'll be working on this some more. So now let me show you what else because I need really a bigger picture a plain picture that doesn't have a lot of detail to it like maybe a circle, triangle. Or really, you don't need any kind of picture. You can just be creative in your mind. Let your mind do it. So, let's just go ahead and do it like this because I want to keep it in this book right here. All right, here we go. Let me just put this right there. one. Let's get another one out here. Okay, here's one right here. Yeah. 
And then when it gets down to the very end, what you want to do is get a paper clip, open the paper clip up, stick it in through here, the crayon, and that way you can hold it and not burn your fingers. I don't know if any of you have ever seen this. But I was taught this back in elementary school. Yep, by my art teacher, Mrs. Brown. Lovely lady. I don't think they would let kids do this nowadays in school. They let them do everything else, but they probably wouldn't let them do this. But I can tell you that we were really supervised real well and we always listened to the teacher we didn't play games with the the uh, fire so I think we had candles too so here we go different color That's getting hot. And that wind's not helping in either. Alright. Now I'll do one more, see how it's already cooling off and caking up. I like that. Did you ever do the thing where you put crayon inside a piece of wax paper and iron it? Uh-uh. Did y'all ever do a, uh, go to a cemetery and uh, you have your crayons and you took a sheet of paper? Uh, yeah, and do a rubbing of the yeah, gravestone. Right, mm -hmm. right yeah. And also, did you ever uh, get a leaf and put it underneath the paper and rub your Crayola yes. over that as well? I wonder if they still teach kids stuff like that. That's good kind of stuff. I mean, kids growing up nowadays really have missed a whole lot of cool stuff, I think, when we were growing up. A lot of great things happened then and you know all they basically do now people is stay on computers and phones and play games and stuff and text and that's about it you know all right here we go I don't know what artists would call this abstracts or something. What do you think they would call it? Remember they have a well, there's probably a name for it. There is a name that I don't remember what they call them.
I'm going to use one more color to give you the idea. And that's what you can do when you uh, get your crayons and put the fire to them and let them drip. And you can, uh, if you get real good at it, you can make a pumpkin, stars, Christmas tree. Or you can draw, like I said, circles and, and fill that in and do a pumpkin. And then you can do the eyes. And such in black or however you want to do it. There's a lot of things you can do. You can be creative doing this. Uh, so I just thought I'd pass this down to you because you know I don't know how many of you have actually seen this done but I thought it was really awesome as a kid and I think it's awesome today because this is just awesome. You know it's fun. You know during the pandemic you're stuck in the house. There's, there's a lot of things you can do to break the boredom. To get off that telephone, get off texting, get off that computer, get off playing games. You, you can color any way you want. You can journal. You can do puzzles, uh, write letters. Uh, you can cut out paper dolls. Uh, whatever to keep your mind occupied, to keep your mind busy. Uh, you can get a magazine and you can cut articles out of that magazine and put them in your journal scrapbook and keep those with you uh, something that you can look back later in time and say wow on this day on this day at this time this is what I did I cut out this article from the magazine or newspaper and I put it in my journal because it had some significant meaning to me back then. You know, just some ideas. Folks, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you again for joining me on Larry's Fountain Pens. And I'm going to be working on this little monster. What do you say? All right, folks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Peace out. Don't text. Don't drive.